On today's edition of, um, excuse me, what the actual F are you doing in my house? We have this Honeywell thing. Yet another fan, well, I'm sure you're kind of questioning why I have, but this one isn't staying with me quite like the last one you saw, that Holmes fan. This is yet another cleanup find that was good and really in good shape, besides a bit of dirt. And there was no point in throwing it, so I'm going to be donating this to my school, getting it out of here, because I don't need it. While I do have a soft spot for these, it's not worth taking up a bunch of space in my house for when nobody will use it. So therefore, it's destined to end up at school. So, I don't really know what the model number of this thing is, and I don't super care, but feel free to tell me in the comments if you know it. Um, this blade style has always been a real interesting one for me. I love the way it looks. However, something tells me that this just isn't the most efficient blade design. I don't know what could ever tell me that. Maybe the fact that these blades are so thin with not a lot of, like, curvature, you know, going around like that. They're only really curved that way. So, I don't know, but something just tells me that these just weren't really the optimal performers. So, let's see, I got oscillation up, so... We'll go ahead and start on low. Now, one interesting thing is that this has that, uh, if you saw that, that has the uh, the child safe control on it, which I actually did not know these fans had. That's typically something I saw with a lot of Duracraft fans. And uh, don't mind it drifting. It's not actually oscillating. It just tends to gravitate towards uh, that position for some ungodly reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, flip it that way. There we go. We'll see what happens when I turn oscillation on. I haven't tried that yet. I literally just plugged it in, made sure nothing sparked, and that it turned, and it did. <laughs> see, that's low speed. We're actually moving a pretty decent amount of air, I have to say. However, this is a larger pedestal fan, so I guess that's to be expected. No, I do not want high speed yet. I want medium. There we go. The fan's in fairly decent shape. A little bit of yellowing here and there. Not horrible. And it is, uh, it's definitely cranking out the airflow, which is rather uh, impressive actually. However, I still do have a feeling that some of their other blade designs would work better on this. All right, let's go ahead and take it to a uh, high speed now. And on high, yeah, it, it is moving the air, and I can even hear my voice distorting a little bit with it, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm getting pretty cold. However, still, all things considered, I do not think this is probably the best fan by any means. Please correct me if I'm wrong, if this blade actually is somewhat decent, but I don't know, just the, the style of it just doesn't scream huge air mover to me. See, that is a high speed there. I'll turn the oscillation. Oh, well, that's probably why they threw it in the trash. It doesn't oscillate. Oh, well. You know, who really even needs oscillation? A functioning fan is a functioning fan. So, you know, that yet another reason why it's definitely not worth hanging on to. I'll probably tape the neck in place so it don't move a lot. But, all right, well, let's go do a spin down. Let's see if that thing can, uh, can manage any sort of a spin down whatsoever here. I mean, it's all right, you know, portables don't usually last too long unless they're freshly restored, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, I'll give you a better look at this here. So there's the uh, back of it. Let me uh, let me go pull this thing out here so you, you can see the whole back of the fan. And I'll probably tip it over on that uh, trash can for a minute. Oh, I won't have to. The tag, well, one of the tags is right there. And now... Uh, I just got to move these project blades out of the way. It'll probably dry by now. And yeah, I know. Paint looks like shit. Let them dry for an hour and they uh, they still weren't dry. And actually, the finish still feels pretty fragile after all that. So yeah, those are going to need an another coat. The way we did it the first time wasn't really ideal either. So anyways, let me go ahead now and uh, tip this bad boy up here. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to. There's no information label there. I thought there might be an information label on the uh, the bottom of the motor housing. But as soon as I tipped it up there, I didn't see anything. 
And uh, yeah, well, if there's nothing there, then I guess I'm going to go and end this video because I don't really have anything else to show you. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.